Hey folks, we had a great request this morning to explain the Enlil spiral, so we're going to do exactly that. This is a program developed to project CME trajectories throughout the solar system once one has been released by the sun. It shows three different vantage points, it pegs the location of several different planets and satellites, the sun is in the center, Earth is the yellow dot to the right of the sun, the far left panel is a projection looking down from the north of the solar system, from directly over the sun's north pole. It allows us to see the trajectory in that plane and if it is headed for the Earth. You see the yellow dot representing the Earth there on the right side of the central sun. This is the filament release CME you see propagating outward, the one from two mornings ago, and from this angle does appear to be headed for Earth. But we also have to look at the side trajectory in this view. We are in Earth's orbital plane, about two months behind the Earth. North is up, south is down, and you can see here how the CME can be seen in another plane of view, and it also appears to be headed for the Earth. By looking in two planes, we can pretty well determine if a CME is heading our way. But then the far right panel is our confirmation. It's from the vantage point behind the Earth, with the sun behind the yellow Earth dot. The panel represents one AU from the Sun, or the distance at which Earth orbits, and the splash effect is the CME impact zone. While you can use the first two to make a great guess, seeing the splash area, including the yellow dot, is your confirmation that a CME is heading for Earth. This CME is expected to arrive Sunday night and should produce minor to moderate geomagnetic unrest. This model is from NASA. NOAA has one as well, but it doesn't include the far right panel. By the way, Enlil, the god after which this program is named, was a Sumerian deity responsible for the wind and the breath of life from the sun. Apropos. Anyway, that's how you use the Enlil spiral. Hope this helps, and I'll see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.